Well, good morning. We are in Pattaya, Thailand, and we're relaxing and enjoying ourselves on Prat Mak Hill, which is a beautiful park that I enjoy going to every day. I come here and I do my pull-ups here. They have some other exercises that you can do here and get my morning workout. Uh, that's actually a big part of my day is to get up, have coffee, get my morning workout done. And then I enjoy having these conversations with you. In fact, my life has completely changed from what it used to be. I look now at the way that I live my life, the way that I feel inside, where I spend my time, and I realize how much my life has changed. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. How I changed my life. The different parts of my life, how I changed it. Because I was not in a very good place back in my mid-40s. I was in a bad situation. It was not something that I regret. It was life and I had to live it. And I learned from my mistakes, as we all do. Our mistakes create who we are today. The problems, the things that we went through, the, the choices that we made. But now we have the chance to make new choices, all right? And that's exactly what I did. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. I also gonna take you to a great place to get pizza. And I'm gonna also show you another hotel that I stayed in earlier for about a week here in Thailand. And it was a really nice hotel. I hadn't stayed there in quite some time, but I really wanna bring you that hotel so you can see it and get more low cost options. Okay, we got a lot to talk about, let's go. In my mid 40s, I went through a change in my life where I found myself deep in debt after. It was a peaceful divorce, but it left me in a, a state financially. I was negative $60,000 as my net worth. That's how deep I was in debt. Negative $60,000. And I also found myself to be living in a situation where I had to make sure I maintained a roof over my head in the most expensive state in the US. I had to maintain a life of normalcy for my children. That's quite a place to be in. And it causes us to rise to the occasion, to challenge ourselves, and to overcome those situations. Man, I was a very different person back then. Everything was just about work, paying off debts, trying to stay mentally and physically healthy, and it wasn't easy. I found myself using alcohol and things like that as a way to kind of just take the edge off after my crazy days and I lived like a Spartan. <sighs> my meals were cans of pork and beans with a fried egg on top. That's right. That's the way I lived for a long time. But that's what I had to go through to change my current situation and make it better. Did I think about giving up? You know why I couldn't give up? I had obligations to other people, not just myself. And that's probably what kept me from giving up. For me, it's actually therapeutic to get up here and talk to you about the things that I've changed in my life. The first way that I completely changed myself was that I completely changed my financial situation. When I retired, not only did I sell everything, and invest it all in dividend stocks, which pay for me to travel. That's how I travel, is off the dividends that they earn. I was no longer in debt. I was in a situation where all that stress and anxiety financially was behind me. I was able to organize myself in such a way that I financially live my life online right now. I've done videos about having a VPN so that I can use that to connect to all of my brokerages and banks. I just did all of my taxes online, everything. Everything was paid online. Every bill is paid online. Completely changed my life financially. And that has definitely given me a new outlook on life, a new way of looking at where my future is going. 
I'm not so stressed or full of anxiety as I was back then. I changed myself financially completely. Do I live a luxury lifestyle? No. <laughs> I wear like $3 shirts that I buy overseas. I wear sunglasses that I pay $3 for that I buy overseas, okay? I don't have a, any luxury jewelry or fancy anything. No, nope, not at all. And yet financially, I feel more secure and I feel better about my future than I ever did when I tried to live that type of lifestyle. It didn't happen overnight. It took a long time to pay off all my debts, become debt free and invest, but it was worth it. Mentally, that is another way that I changed myself completely. You know, I used to be in this mindset of keeping up with the Joneses. Uh, what events are you at? Where are you eating out? What sort of fancy lifestyle are you living? How are you projecting yourself with fancy watches and clothing and what car are you driving? I lived that lifestyle. I thought that was like winning in life, you know? To me, that was like, that's how you know that you're winning in life is that you're able to project some sort of status to others. I was so wrong. All I did is stress myself out, put myself deep in debt, for what? Who was I trying to impress? You know, a year from now, you know who I wanna impress? Me today. A year from now, I wanna make me today impressed of my life. That's the only person that I care about impressing. I don't care, you know, people look at my lifestyle and say, oh, well, you know, you don't have these fancy things anymore and you're not living this fancy life anymore. Yeah, you're right. I walked away from all that and now I live a life that's much more peaceful, much more healthy, mentally and physically healthy. Yeah, people can say what they want about me and they do. And you know what? I just say, fair enough. And off to work you go, I'm heading to Thailand. Put me in a park or along a beach going for a nice walk. Now I'm in a better state of mind. Another way that I changed my life completely is emotionally. I believed that the stress levels that I was placing on myself foolishly, the anxiety that I felt was gonna be, that's the way my life was gonna be forever. It's absolutely not true. In fact, once I got out of the West, my emotional state changed completely. I was no longer stressed out about politics. I was no longer stressed out about high prices. I was no longer stressed out about how I was going to be able to present myself to others. Man, I just stopped worrying about all of that. And emotionally, I became much healthier. I started to feel good about myself again. I started to feel confident. I started to feel that I was making a headway, <laughs> which is not easy to do in the West. It's not easy to get that feeling like I'm getting ahead, you know? No, you don't always feel that. You feel like you're falling behind and emotionally that hits you, you know? You say, well, that hits your pocketbook. Yeah, it does. But that really sends you into a spiral of that you say, oh, I'm failing. You're not failing, okay? If you find yourself in that situation right now, you're not failing. You're just not changing. And you need to change the variables in your life. The variables are putting you in that state. You as a person are doing everything right. You're working hard. You're trying your best to pay off your bills. You're trying to invest for the future. You're being kind to other. You're being loving to your family but the variables haven't changed and they will when you change them. After shoulder surgery many years ago, I'm lucky to get up here and do any of these pull-ups at all. And it feels good in the morning. Physically, how did I change? A lot. I was heavier. I was using probably too much alcohol. And I found myself in a situation where I had high blood pressure, high cholesterol. I needed to lose weight. 
I needed to start living healthier so that I can live a long life, enjoy this life, enjoy the life ahead of me. Whew. I needed to make changes. And I did. I made changes to cut back on what I ate, to exercise every day, cut back on the alcohol considerably to the point where I, I basically don't drink much at all unless maybe I'm doing a video for you. Sometimes I'll have like a glass of red wine in a video. But yeah, changing my life physically was a big part of how I got into a better place. Look at this walk. Look at this, can you see this? Oh my gosh, this is like even more than a 45 degree angle. I'm getting my workout today, let me tell you. We don't realize how hard it is to try to deal with a stressful lifestyle when we're not physically in shape. It's tough. It's putting a lot of extra stress on us and we're not able to be our best at our job, at being part of our family's lives. It takes away from all of that. Changing yourself physically is a big first step. And these are the different things that I wanted to talk to you about today. I wanted to tell you about the changes that I went through when I decided to sell everything and retire, travel overseas, completely change my life. When I say I changed my life, I don't just mean it in some passing by statement. I mean in every way I've changed my life. And I'm glad I did because I'm much happier where I am now and I'm much happier about the foreseeable future that I'm going into. And I want you to feel the same way. I don't want you to feel stressed about where you are right now. Make a plan to make a change and then carry out that plan. That's what you have to do to change your current situation. You have to make a plan. And it could be something that sounds outrageous. Well, that's why I say this. If you're gonna make changes in your life, change completely and fool everybody. Make it so that people don't have any idea who they're dealing with anymore. Who is that? That's someone you've never met before. Heck, it's someone I never met before. That's the new me. Hello. <laughs> I don't want you to give up on yourself. I don't want you to think that you can't change or that you can't change your current situation. I am living proof that you can come back from almost complete destruction. It's been a hot day and it's wonderful out. Beautiful blue skies. I love walking through this park. There's hardly anyone here. Every once in a while, I see like maybe a, a bicyclist goes by. Not many people. I don't know, maybe because it's just a time of year where it's so hot, people don't really want to travel as much, but I love it. I don't mind it at all. I've adapted to it now. I'm going to take you to a great place to have pizza. So stay tuned for that. And I'm still going to show you a wonderful hotel that I stayed at earlier in this trip to Thailand. And I just didn't get a chance to put it in any of the videos, but it's really a beautiful place and I want you to see it. The price was great as well. So let's go ahead and do that now. And we have a lot more to see. After we get done with Thailand, I'm gonna continue to hit different countries, bringing you a low cost lifestyle, a life where I'm not broke anymore, a life where I'm living stress-free from the insane politics and stress and crime of the West. I've left all that behind and I've changed my future for the better. And I'd like you to come along with. Like and subscribe to the video as we travel through Southeast Asia together. We'll talk again soon. Aloha. Little Brother Pizza is on Second Road and this place is uh, just perfect to stop in and have yourself a freshly made pizza. The owner here, is Italian and he does not speak very good English but if you go up and say hello to him he will say hello and I think he gets a lot of people that like to videotape him making the pizzas he has a wonderful setup here by the way the restaurant serves a variety of other foods as well but I like to pop in here to get the pizza and the other Italian dishes the spaghetti and meatballs is incredible uh, they make a calzone that's fantastic. I love to take the calzone back to my hotel. 
Uh, I'm having a pepperoni, onion, and black olive pizza here. Uh, this is gonna cost about $10. I also had them make me a nice fresh watermelon uh, shake. Basically, it's just watermelon juice frozen. Absolutely delicious. It's about $2. So the meal came up to $12. I could only eat half the pizza now. I took the other half as a second meal. Oh, man. <laughs> Incredible pizza. There's no two ways about it. You can see by the size of it, I could only eat half of it now and then have the other half as dinner later tonight. Enjoy, and we got the hotel review coming up as well. April Suites Hotel. What a beautiful hotel. I love this place. The rooms are going to range in the mid-20s. It depends on what the season is. So it's a little bit more than I pay for hotels. However, I do like to come here and stay for a few nights. I find it to be very relaxing. They have the sauna. They have a full gym. They probably have one of the nicest facilities. And look at the rooftop swimming pool. So if you're coming to Pattaya, yeah, it's going to be a few dollars more than what my usual range is, but I think you get a lot for it. Of course, all utilities, strong Wi-Fi, everything is just included. It's absolutely beautiful. April Suites is fantastic. So it's going to be in the mid-20s range, and if you stay here for a few nights and then kind of move on, I think you'll really enjoy it. I think you'll make it part of every trip.